Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, uh, Beauty on a Budget. My name is Heather and this morning I'm going to be setting up my uh, formal dining table for spring and Easter. So I'll just turn around so you can see what my table looks like at the moment. I've got all these extra dishes. These were the extra dishes that were taken off the kitchen table. So for the last couple months, both my tables have had the exact same uh, pattern of dishes. I'll be swapping these ones out for the sunflower ones. I'm just going to set my camera down for just a second. Okay, so in the kitchen, I didn't put a tablecloth on. In the dining room, I'm going to put the tablecloth on. So I'm going to be using my gray and white striped uh, tablecloth. That's something different. And then these are the napkins that I had just bought at Valley Village for, I think it was $4, I think, three or $4. And it was a pack of, I got eight. And they are these uh, just little gray ones. I'm going to use these ones in the kitchen. And I'm going to stick, I think I might stick with the cream colored ones in here. I haven't decided yet. Which one's going to go where? It depends on which of the table runners I've decided to put where. Well, these are, I've also gotten these ones too at Valley Village. These nice uh, yellow color, like a butter, creamy buttery color. I actually have a tablecloth that matches this. Now I've got napkins that will match it. These were also four, I think four dollars for this set, and I think it was six. Yeah, this was six. And then here are my, these are my placemats for Easter. I bought a couple of years ago at a local liquidation place. I forget what I paid, but I think I had to buy two packs because I've got eight of them. So these are my nice Easter ones, which I'm going to use out here on this dining room table. And then I have my table runner that I bought last year. So it's just the nice linen and it's got the nice one big bunny on either end. Uh, I got this one from Winners or Marshalls. I can't remember which one. So it would have been between $15 and $20. And this is the new table runner I just got for this year. So it's got like the bunnies all over it. This one I paid $17. And this one I just got from Marshalls. So it's a nice really long one. So I'm going to use this really long one in the dining room and the shorter one in the kitchen. So this one's going to be in the kitchen and this will be the pattern up here in the dining room. So I'm just going to set these down again. Now I just have to undecor or undo my whole table. So I'll be just going to turn this back. See like this table, it needs, the tablecloth needs to be washed and everything. Uh, so I'm just going to do what I did last time. And I keep my bowls in stacks of two or three high, depends on the bowls. If I want to do, I think these ones are, yeah, these ones are big enough. I can do three. I've had some that are a little more, I don't know, a little more wobbly when I go to put them away. I can only put them too high. And I got my stack of saucers and the stack of plates. And I just find if you just kind of under the table that way and get everything into their own piles, then it's just so much easier to put back in the cupboard. So that's all I'm going to do is I'm just going to be moving the dishes into the kitchen so they can get washed before put in the cupboard and then I got to get the other dishes out of the cupboard so I'll be back when I'm when I've got the dishes off this table and I'm ready to start putting things back on all right I've got the table unset and I just wiped just washed the plastic off so I'm going to take it off and you can see how like beautiful the tablecloth really is. I mean, I love to be able to have the table without this plastic, but I can't tell you how much these plastics have saved my table from people spilling things. Myself included, I'm one of those people who when I'm sitting at the table, I seem to always bump my coffee and tea over. Chair so I can get around here a little easier. This tablecloth up it needs to be washed and I find it amazing even with the plastic food still gets under the plastic I don't know how 
Gotta get this tablecloth's gotta get washed. It's been on this table for quite a few months now. And then I have this tablecloth, which I got at a secondhand store quite a few years ago. And I thought it from a distance, I thought it was real lace, but it's actually like a washable, wipeable surface. And when I found this, this really protected my table before I found those other large clear plastic things. Because then my table would look like this and I could put my other tablecloths over top. And this would just give one more layer of protection from my table. So I lift this up. And there's my nice table. This table we've had, uh, I think we've lived here about 11 years. So this table we've had for 11 years. There's a few little marks here and there. There is a burn on the table somewhere. Uh, my daughter turned 16. We had lots of sparklers on her uh, cake and they hit the tablecloth and they actually melted the tablecloth. So I'm going to go because this is where she sat was over here. I don't know. My husband did a good job. So that's what all these little sparks here, they're all over the table. And my husband had to repair that. So all these little marks that are all over the table, that is actually from the sparkler. And it actually melted my tablecloth onto the table and I got burn marks in my tablecloth. It looks like uh, um, cigarette burns is what it really looks like and we didn't notice that right away because the smell of the sparklers burning we didn't realize that the tablecloth was kind of burning in places so I like to keep this one down really protect my table so I'm gonna grab my tablecloth using this one what I love about the tablecloths that have patterns that are evenly spaced or especially lines is you can really get your tablecloth lined up so much faster so much easier Oops. it's been folded for a while it just doesn't want to unfold when I bought this tablecloth from Walmart it was about $20 I think $20 being the most. It could have been, you know, 13. I don't think it would have been 13. I think 13 was the size smaller because I always go have to go with the largest size they sell to fit my dining room table because this table sits, uh, right now it's set for six, but it does, I think it can do up to 10 people if you really want to get squished in, but I think eight is a good number. But I really think in a pinch you could do 10 people at this table. So I don't know how many my kids have had birthday parties and I don't know if they've had, had lots of kids sit at the table, extra chairs, she's kind of squishing in. We've had like time. There goes my camera because I pulled the tablecloth in the wrong spot. Okay, so I'm just trying to even this tablecloth out. There. Just set it here. I won't pull the tablecloth so hard. But no, when my kids have had birthday parties, they didn't have like two kids at each end. I think it was five, ten, fourteen kids. I think we did get fourteen kids around this table one time just for a birthday party. One of my kids had. I let them invite everybody in their class. And they most of the class showed up, plus my own kids. I'm one of those people who, I, I, when it's got lines and the lines go crooked, it really bugs me. Now I know this tablecloth has got the little bit of fold lines in here, which normally I would take the time and iron them out, but I don't feel like doing that today. Day. I'll probably do that another day because it's probably going to bug me. But we'll see how it looks once the, the runner gets put on. So here's the new uh, runner. I just got to grab scissors because I don't have it undone that yet.
Sometimes I will just pull it apart, but it's a nice runner. I don't want to wreck it. There's one more paper. Well, it's the same on both sides. Okay, I didn't realize that. I couldn't tell the white was in its package. So this is my side of the table. So I'm going to put the price, the, the little instruction on where I sit. That's what I usually do. Any little spots, imperfections, I put down where I sit. Because my husband notices things too, if things are crooked or out of place more. So I really try to get everything kind of evened up really good on his end of the table. Wow, this runner just fits right across the table and I've got no hangover. That's interesting. I thought, I'd, I thought it would go over a little bit. I guess not. I'm like, I would probably go and press this before putting it on the table, but I just really want to see what it looks like. And I like the fact that the bunnies are facing both directions. And now the... I forgot to put the plastic over top. I'm going to take this off. No, maybe I'll leave the table runner under the plastic. Sometimes I put the runner under or over the plastic. I always put the napkins over the plastic. This is a new table runner, so I'm going to put it under the plastic to this time. covers are from the from Dollarama. The these are up to three fifty now. I remember when they were like two dollars and they went up to two fifty. See now I think they're at three fifty now. So when I do bring them in I will grab a couple just I love to have extras. I don't think I have any extra in my china cabinet at the moment. Because they do sorry with the amount of use I use these with like everyday usage they do get a little bit damaged there. Just making sure it's even on both sides just gonna check this side see how far down that's good now I can put my placemats on and these ones have the one bunny that sits facing. So I will always put it where the nice, oh, there's the camera. Like this, where the one bunny is facing uh, whoever sits in it. Whoever sits in this chair gets to see the bunny. And then I like to use, again, this tablecloth has got these lines. So I can use these lines to line up where the table, uh, where the placemats will sit. So everything is really symmetrical. And once I get these in, I can tell that this runner is a little crooked. Just, but that's okay. I will straighten it out in a little bit. Just want to get placemats kind of put down. So I can see. It is just a little crooked, so I will fix that in a minute. But that is the table so far, so I've got to stop because I got to get the I got to get the dishes out of the cupboard. All right, so look at how bright and colorful these sunflowers are, just sitting here stacked up next to the grays and 
browns on the table. Now I have got four styles of charger plates. I've got this black, white, and gray check, which I'm using in the kitchen. And I've got this gray uh, wood grain looking one. I think this might be the one I'll probably use with this setting. I haven't decided. This is the one that was on here already, so those got to get wiped off before I put them back. I, oops. These little things. I've got this gold pattern one, which also looks really nice. But I love this at Christmas because I usually get the gold and silver rimmed dishes, and so this really makes the gold stand out. And then I've got my absolute favorite, favorite ones. And it is this copper color with all the leaves on it. And this one I, I use for fall. It is perfect. So I think, let's see, I'm just going to take a look and to see how this looks. See how the gold, I just want to compare the two, the gold and the wood green. So I'm just going to quickly do two quick place settings here. I like to put the large sunflower at the bottom. I'm going to do two place settings at the same time. So let me just see how I can angle this camera. Let's see. Um, where is it looking? I can't quite tell if I've got it lined up. I guess like that. Okay, I'll move these little placements just a little closer together so you can kind of see and I'll figure out which one I like better. If I like the gold or the wood green. Same thing. I like to put the large sunflowers at the bottom. And then for these ones, I like to put the sunflower towards the person and away. So when you're sitting around the table uh, across from each other, you can see each other's thing and the cups. The cups go on this side. I, the water glasses I don't have because they've got to get washed. But I think for the way these look, I, don't, I like them both with the, the gray wood one or the gold. I, but I think I'm going to go with the gold today. It gives it that extra color. It really makes the sunflower stand out and stand up against the, because I've got the tablecloth is gray, the placemats are gray, the table runner's got a lot of gray in it. So I think I'm going to do with the gold charger plates. So I've already got two places already set up then. So all I'm gonna do is just continue to set up my table. Move this back to where it was. Okay. Yeah, I really like the gold. It really, because the gray really blends in with everything. The gold just kind of makes it all stand out a little more. And it really brings out the yellow in the sunflowers. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring my camera back over here and I'm just gonna continue to set up this table. I just can't wait till I can get back into my craft room and get my larger tripod. So much easier. Now, when I buy the charger plates or any large plates, they come with this circle uh, tissue paper, and I like to use that on between my charger plates. As you can see, I've got charger plates with nothing between them, and I've got other charger plates that have got, I don't know, like four or five pieces of the tissue paper between each one. So I'm move stuff back off the table. Gonna continue to setting up the table. I've just got these mugs in my hand. I might as well just set them around first. 
and then do each of the plates. I work on one corner of the table at a time. It kind of helps too. Then I'm not walking around the whole table. Two. And I think my table is almost set up. Well, I just got to do the napkins. And these dishes again are all from Dollar Tree. Uh, where I live, they've gone up. Their dishes are now a dollar fifty an item. So I think I may have gotten these sunflowers when they were still a dollar twenty-five. But the lemon ones I just got, I had to pay a dollar fifty. Uh, the mason jar mugs, I don't remember if they were still a dollar twenty-five or if they had also gone up to a dollar fifty. I don't remember. Because they still have some of their dishes or some of their dishes are different pricing. So they're just starting to increase their prices slowly with the new stock, I think. That's how they were doing it. And I'm looking at which um, which of my napkins I want to use. I'm not quite sure now. Because I could do these ones. I think it's just a wrong shade of yellow. So I might just go back to let me just go back to these ones that I had on here originally. It's more of this linen color. Might look okay. I definitely don't want to use the gray. I think I'll save I just think it would just be too much gray. And this is just the wrong color. Like I like them, but I just I don't quite think that's the right color to go next to the gold. Let's see, I'm just gonna oops. Just gonna take a quick look and just see if I just fold this. I've got some napkin rings I wanted to use. I want to use these nice flower ones. I'm not doing this right. I just need to just take a quick look and see how these look. Just quickly seeing which of the ones I like. You know, with the napkin ring on, I think I will go with the new ones. I do like the way that that looks. Now this one's out of the way. These are for the other table. And those other ones I took off have to get washed. These ones were all just washed. Now, there are so many different ways to use the napkin rings, but I found the most simple way to do it is I just fold my napkin into a quarter. So I'm just gonna angle this camera a little bit different. it here so I can I can make sure that well I'm explaining this that it is in view of the camera it's hard when I'm on the other side of the camera so I've got my nice um, napkin <clears throat> I'm gonna fold it into just fold it like you would just into fourths just so you get a nice square and then right where the folded corner is I'm just going to angle this down a little more. So I've got this folded, and I've got the folded corner. And this is all the open ends are up here. So I've got the four open ends are at the top. The folded corner is down at me. And I'm just going to pull the napkin through. And then I get this really nice fan effect. Now I've got different, some different napkins fold different when you do this. These ones are a little bit stiffer, so I get this really nice looking fan. So I'm just gonna do it for all of these. Now these are all already folded because I was just washed them all the other day. Just pull this in. You see this one kind of did a little bit, this one went a little bit different. Yeah, because see, every time I fold, see, they just want to fold. I'm just 
depending on how you pull them, how tight you pull them, kind of depends on what you get. But I like the fan look, so that's what I want to get today. Is I want to get the fan look, and I don't cut the tags off my napkins. I just kind of tuck them in. So I get a nice little. So I'm just going to do that for all of them, just to make sure that I've got a folded corner. This was the trick, is to make sure that I've got them all facing the exact same direction. So my folded corner here, the open corners are up here. And just pull it through and just kind of... Sometimes it does it in one, sometimes you gotta do... I've got some little ends I'm gonna have to, little strings I'm gonna have to clip off, but that's it. It's really simple to do this and it just, I don't know, just, I think it just kind of elevates your table when you add the cloth napkins, even though we don't use them. Also, at the same time, I also have like, um, what are they, like paper napkins on the table. We don't use them either. Well, I mean, our guests use them, but they're sit, they sit on the table, but we hardly use them. more like just for the look. See when that one did that one? See that, was, that one was good. I don't know why I was having trouble the last couple. The first one worked really good and this is the fourth one and it worked really good. So, I don't know, I guess maybe just, like I said, they're not folded perfectly. They don't want to bend like that. If you go too fast or too slow. There, there I get this nice looking fan. I'm going to call it a fan because it reminds me, you know, your handle's here, your fan is up there. And one more. And now I guess my table will actually be done. Just try to do one more. Oh, there's the other last one. Again, these little, like I said, the, these little napkin rings, I've got them at a second hand store. I don't know when, I don't know if... It, I don't know where, I don't know how much I paid for them, but not a lot. I mean, if you go to secondhand stores, you can always find napkin rings. That's why I've got so many. Also, the dollar store started carrying them. Of course, they're now like $1.75 for one. But they had some really pretty ones that fall, so I bought a couple sets for fall. But most of the other ones are all from just, you know, secondhand stores, yard sales, things like that. Like, you don't have to spend a lot of money for your stuff to look more high-end you just have to look for like the quality you want to make sure that it's got the good quality so it looks more expensive like you don't like go to the dollar store they do sell like the napkins and stuff but they're kind of cheaper looking cheaper feel feeling and that's not what you want okay my bad. there goes my camera <laughs> okay just trying to I'm just going to turn it so you can see the table. All right, I think I got my camera Oops. back on its stand properly. And I'm just going to take the napkins. I'm just going to set them right here. I've left to get is the water glasses but because I just took them off this table I want to wash them before I put them back on because believe it or not but my dishes actually get used every day even if they're just sitting here and they look like they don't move they move all the time and you see a couple of these I do have to wipe some of these cups off like they look okay, but I can see I've got two that have the sticker still on because they were never used. So I'm going to wash them. I mean, somehow last year when I bought these and I had them setting out, I did wash them, but two of them still have the stickers. So obviously I washed them, but I couldn't remove the stickers, so I just left the stickers on. I'm going to find the two that still have the stickers. I'll put them here because this side here is usually where my 
two girls who moved out. That's kind of where they sit. So that's probably what happened is those ones don't get used. But there is my table so far. So now I just need to do my centerpiece, which I'm in the middle of working on. And then let's see, the candles, my candlestick. I like to put my candles out. I gotta repair that candle. I gotta repair those candles. That happens sometimes. These ones. I got these ones. I love these ones. I bought these at a secondhand store. They were still wrapped in their package. And I paid more for them than I normally would. But they're they are beeswax. And they are painted with a gold paint. So I will use these ones. And I will use my little these Christmas ones aside. I'm gonna use my little marble candle holders. So I put one in front of my husband's and one in front of where I sit. And then I'll put the candles. Now I gotta grab the other couple of items. I've got my cutlery tray here, which has got knives, knives, forks, spoons, and chopsticks. And then I've got this is the napkin holder and salt and pepper shaker. So I'm gonna take the Valentine ones out. I do have Easter napkins. Just, I'm not sure if they're here in my china cabinet or if they are downstairs. Let me check. Um, oh, yes, I do have some Easter ones up here. I'm going to stack, stick a stack of these Easter ones in here. I do have more Easter ones downstairs. In here, like I said, we don't use them, they're more for just you know, like the company uses them, and this also just basically display kind of a thing. That might be too many napkins now, but that's okay. There, just tip it this way so one side's salt and one side's pepper, and I've got the napkins and the cutlery. And it's ready for the centerpiece, which I am middle of working on. So hopefully I will get that finished for tomorrow. So there is my dining room table all set up for uh, spring and Easter. Well, mostly Easter. It's almost ready for Easter. And then over here is my china cabinet, which I have to get that done. Hopefully I can get to that later today or tomorrow I've got all these dishes everything is just kind of stacked in here i've got stuff that i don't need in here i've got a lot of christmas oh i just saw easter things back here i just saw my little easter candle holders they are cute they, the little candles they hold are shaped like carrots and it looks so cute just bring those out and then I've got a lot of Christmas stuff in there and then this side too I've got just a lot of odd little things a lot of Christmas and there's my other set there's all my Easter stuff so this I'll be bringing out uh, is it either later today or tomorrow but this set here it was uh, the one I bought it at the second so I want to say Salvation Army or could have been Valley Village I can't remember now but they, I put it in the cart and they wanted, it was around $20 for the set. And I'll say at the time, I did not have the $20. I was there looking for, I believe it was clothing for one of my kids. They needed something very specific for clothing. I don't remember what for. I just remember I was shopping with one of my kids looking for clothes that they needed. 
and I saw this and I put it in the cart and I walked around the store and I thought about it and thought about it and I ended up not getting anything. Oh, yeah, I see it was Value Village. Okay, so three ninety nine. Okay, so what was that? I thought it was around twenty dollars. Was I wrong? Seven. Oh, I guess it was ten dollars. Okay. I thought it was around twenty. Okay, see, so yeah, that's so why I kept the price tag on. So seven dollars for the teapot, and then they wanted uh, four dollars for the two pieces. So that made it eleven dollars. Well, still, <laughs> obviously, if I put it in the cart and I had to think about it, I didn't have the extra cash that day. But I think it was I want, went to the store and I, they didn't have what my kids needed. I think it was jeans or pants or something. They didn't have anything, so I ended up buying the tea set. And I think there was something I liked, so I think I put a few other items back just so I could get that because I said I will never be able to find that bunny set again. I'm not quite sure who makes it. Then back there I've got my little pinky and blue boy. But there's my little lamb and bunny and the other bunny. So those I'll be bringing out tomorrow. I just don't feel like pulling all this stuff out. Ninja out of the china cabinet. Yeah, so that I'll be doing. And I've got all this stuff sitting up here on top that is just, you know, like stuff that needs to go in other cupboards like Christmas containers, you know, I don't even think I'm going to keep those anymore because this is the Candyland popcorn bowl we just got for Christmas. But these, i got to check because some of these I have more of, the, I'm, I think I'm missing some lids. And so they get stored somewhere else, not, obviously not in my china cabinet. And I will do this just because you can see it, but it's been a while since I've dusted my china cabinet. I did it um, Christmas, so December. So I know I cleaned this all off in December because I had to get out the Christmas dishes. So, it's been a few months. And then I'll show you, each, each of these drawers is also piled up with stuff. Like, I've got dishes and things in here that are just really, like, I've got a bunch of glass dishes down here. I believe they're called milk glass, and they were painted on the back. So I don't want them broken, but I'm worried they're going to break the way that they are just in these drawers. I want somewhere else. And this is just all my napkin rings and candles plate hooks because I was going to hang up some of my decorative plates again and this is just more of that stuff see, see these ones here is what I got in the fall the dollar rama they were dollar seventy five dollar fifty or dollar seventy five because there was a couple different ones I bought and they seem to have different prices also the price kind of varied depending on which dollar rama I went to I noticed that too So I gotta clean these drawers out. And then this big tall one here, it looks like it's three drawers, but it's really just one big drawer. And this is where I keep all my nap uh, placemats, table runners, and placemats. So this I gotta go through again because I've got stuff in here that I'm not keeping anymore. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going through my house room by room and getting rid of any extra items that I just don't wanna keep anymore. Um, sorry, just a message just went across my screen. I was trying to figure out what's name about my my microphone. I'm not quite sure. Okay, again, I just want to say uh, thank you to everybody who's uh, watching my videos, liking them, and subscribing to my channels. I'll see you all in my next videos. Bye.